Well... Okay, Anna is reacting to us being in this tattoo parlor. She's she's certainly a local up from Sigil. He, she has the superstitions and worries that a local would certainly have. No one of Dakon and Morte didn't give a damn about Bell being in the la not being in the lady's favor. But Anna reacted to her to that immediately. Okay, Anna, what's wrong? I daft! Anna turns to you and you suddenly realize she's frightened. Are you so big eager to dance with the lady shadow yield hand bandy words with this one? Let's give this place to laugh before we get pinned in the dead book. Okay, what's the problem? It's fell. Now throws a fearful glance at the creature, presumably fell. Let's be why I no good'll come being here so it won't. Okay, what's the problem? He's a dabus who's not a dabus eye. He walks on the ground. No more questions, let's give this place the laugh eye. No? No harm will come to you while I'm here. Now tell me what's wrong. And now throws a frightened glance at Fel. Fel's a dabus who's angered her. It said he's a dabus who isn't a dabus. And the times are close when ladies gaze fall on him, so it will. Okay, you mean, uh, you mean the Lady of Pain? I and heat your tongue. And I makes another semicircle in air in front of her, as you mentioned the lady's name. They Davis work for the lady, and she protects him. Said Fell. Let's be away. Oh, let's be. Let's be away. I. Yeah, I'd like to speak to Fell first. And I grabbed your arm. Please, nay, nay. No good will come for it. Anyone speaking to Fell could draw the lady's gaze. I don't want to die. I don't. To your surprise, Anna looks close to tears. Okay, we'll be l okay. No harm will come to you while I'm here, I promise. Just want to speak with him for a moment. Yeah, we can make this promise. But he sees a part member, and I don't see any threat here. And if there is some, we're certainly going to try to keep everyone alive. For a minute, Anna just looks at you, then something in your gaze seems to calm her, and she steals her head. I don't know why I... Go on, then talk to him. I don't... I don't care. There is an undercurrent of fear in her voice. Okay, well, we can speak with her. Don't need a trans... Yeah, did, did you do the tattoos on this dismembered arm I found? Elle examines it for a moment, tracing the patterns with his fingers. He then looks up and a series of rebuses form. Hazy at first, then come sharply into focus. The arm is yours. The tattoos are mine. One tattoo speaks of a time when your path was shared by four others. Okay, what four others? They speak of four. Shall I tell you their hearts? Yes. Updated my journal. The symbols swirl before you and you piece them together. One unloved, who loves one who does not love. One who does not see what others see, and sees what others do not. One who is familiar and bound with duty. One who is a slave and his chains are words. As you finish translating, the four strings seem to form themselves into links. They merge into chains. The chain bends until it is a symbol you feel you recognize. That symbol, what is it? The symbol sharpens, gaining edges that are almost painful to your eyes. It is torment. It is that which draws all tormented souls to you. Hell not at your left arm, at your shoulder. The flesh knows it suffers even when the mind has forgotten, so you wear the rune always. You mentioned there were other tattoos on the arm. What others? Hell examines the arm again, tracing the other faded tattoos upon its surface. As he does, they appear as a symbol above his head, hazy at first. Then coming to focus sharply, he turns to face you. Once forgotten, now remember. You may wear them again if you wish. 
Okay, I would like to see what these tattoos are. Can I see what tattoos you have now to share? Okay, new tattoos. Tattoo of the thief. I think that's uh, maybe from Anna. Bone singer. Hold on, dead. Okay, you have learned to speak with the dead and hear their stories, even from beyond the eternal boundary. This tattoo draws upon your powers of undead and heightens them, allowing you to chain the undead within range with a single command. Only a limited number of uses before it vanishes, so we can... It's It might be a good thing to buy if we'll... When we go to exterminate the undead. Okay, tattoo of Anna. Yeah, thieves skills. Restless dead. What's that? Less. Not that useful. We have it as a spell. Action. Dexterity. Thieves. I think we maybe want to buy this. Charisma bones. Because we, I don't really want to invest too much in charisma anymore. But it, it definitely be of use. So a tattoo might be just a trick. There's no class requirement, so it's always useful. We'll buy that. Uh, plus one armor class. Lost incarnation. Grant experience points when invoked. Increase regeneration when worn. Huh. This tattoo came from the severed arm you found in the dismembered grip. Apparently, this tattoo tells of the experience of one of the, your past incarnations. The symbols and tales are familiar to you, but it seems to tell of a time when you were lost and abandoned on the streets of the high, barely able to make a living, robbing, stealing from others you encounter. The crimes the lost incarnation committed eventually draw him to seek shelter in the Weeping Stone catacombs, where he survived for almost a year. When worn, the tattoo seems to bring out a survival instinct in you, forcing your body to react to any damage you take and heal wounds faster. If you choose to tap into the tattoo's power, some of the memories of, hi of hiding beneath sigil will return to you, giving you the benefit of the previous incarnation's experience. It can only do this once, but even after the tattoo is invoked, the increased regeneration will remain. <sighs> hmm. We'll definitely want to buy that. Tattoo of Wasting Darkness Grants experience points when revoked Permanent plus 3% stealth skill when invoked Plus 1 armor class stealth Carry minus charisma plus Yeah, this isn't Dismembered grip Tales of experience of the past incarnations yeah, I think we'll we'll buy this too and use it immediately. Trans experience points again. We'll buy it, and there goes our goddamn money. Grant experience points when in box. Buy them all, and now we're poor again. <sighs> Done. We will be turning ourselves into a mage, so we'll be using the tattoos that require us to be a thief. Silent coins. Okay, how do we use that? How do you use it? Use. All right. 
Yeah, we can't use it anymore. Basically, it's free experience for money. Not that much, but we'll take it. I'm wondering if I can... I'm not gonna use any others. I want to see if I can still invoke these uh, thief only tattoos. Because it would be a great for if we take the uh, we take the mage class to get a little bit of experience points boost to get us ourselves started. We'll probably sell some of those tattoos back actually to get some of the money back after we've drained the experience from them. Not all of them, some of them seem to be Done. quite useful. We do Done. want to be mages now. So the thief ones won't be any use and we can't put them to Anna. At least I don't think. Yeah, all, all usable only by name is one. So they're not really Done. of much use to us. I guess it's a waste of money to actually buy them. At least in the any longer term, but I don't really care. Not that much. All right. Yeah. Okay. Can I draw aggro from at least one of them away? You leatherhead. Okay. We need to change the weapon of Die. the. She can use punch daggers, right. so we'll give him the magical punch dagger that we have on our main character. Because gone. we can't use it as a mage anyway, and it's a much better than what he has now. Or she, rather. Um, we can use the bone dagger even as a mage, so that's good enough. Done. All right. We do not have to do some jobs again, I think, to get our money supply back up. I'm gone. 